We made it. 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 Wait, whoa, 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 we finna graduate. What, 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 we finna graduate. Hey, hit the whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa. <laughs> we finna do it. Let's get it. Remember, your body is a machine. You gotta put into it good things. You gotta make sure that you're not, that you're eating right. Stop worrying about things you can't control. Mm. On your journey through this life, there are going to be people that's going to die, that's going to walk away, that's going to disappoint you, but you got to keep going. You can't allow defeat to keep you bound. You got to keep moving. One of the saddest things that I see is when people allow money and things to become your God. Let me tell you something about that. Nice things is one. I got red bottles on that. <laughs> but being able to be with your family, mm -hmm. to have be in the backyard with the cookout, mm -hmm. to, you know, to stick your iPhone up to the speaker. To sit up and play cards, drink Fago Pop, eat better made chips. Come on, Wanda. Those are the memories that make you. Don't get caught up in, in, in the little trappings because what? they don't last forever. Mm -hmm. If I could ask you, what were the three most memorable things in your life? I guarantee it didn't have anything to do with money. Mm -mm. It didn't have anything to do with possessions. Not even. Don't get so caught up in things that they begin to control your character. I just want to say, oh, yeah. reach yeah. to the every day. And all these friends that your diploma is my diploma. Yeah. So you go get it. And every day, if I have to go to work, you got to go to school. My job is to provide for you, and your job is to get an education. I worked hard, so I would like to tell DeMarcus, I'm here, and I'm going to get my diploma. <laughs>
It's really time to go. I just left my cousin graduation. It was lit, it still is lit as fudge. The Detroit Opera House is off the chain. Everybody's stuck. This is the whole class of 2019. Martin Luther King graduates. They lit. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Hey, girl! <laughs> hey, girl, you making it up right here. Her daddy know more people than her. It's right there, girl. I'm like, lean here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today is about Kelsey G. She just got in the car. I can't wait to make this video for her. I'm messing up. Are you happy she graduated? Yes, she, I guess I am. And what do you want to tell Kelsey? Oh, I want to tell her she did a good job. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, let's go. We love you. We love you. We so proud of you. We all see. We love you. Congratulations, baby. I am very proud of you. I'm only expecting great things for you. I love you so much. Mwah. We always love you. We always love you. Always so much. Bye bye. Congratulations, baby. We always love you. I love you, boo. Congratulations, uh, Kelsey, for your uh, midway, or should I say, segment of your life that's been completed, which is uh, high school. Uh, and you're, you're on your way to some bigger and better uh, things. But success is the only option um, as a G, at least as one of my Gs. So once again, congratulations. Keep doing your things. I'm proud of you. And uh, pave the way. You got another, known, uh, another one following you. Peace. Hello. Hi. What is your name? Kelsey G. Okay, Kelsey G. How you feeling today? I'm feeling really good, to be honest. All right, so you just graduated. How you feeling? Stress relief. <laughs> oh, yeah, relieve the stress, relieve the stress. <laughs> so what was the hardest class throughout your four years? Oh, uh, the hardest class, science class, especially either chemistry or environmental science. I'm not a fan of science <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay, and what was your favorite class? 
JLTC and uh, well, since I'm a senior, I should say uh, props and stats. Okay. And what are you going to school for to major in? Ooh, pre-med veterinarian. I really love to help animals, especially dogs. Oh. Animals need love too. They do, they do, they need all the love. Oh yes. Do you have any animals? I used to, but since my dad has a dog, I'm still taking good care of her. I give her all the love. Look, Pax makes perfect. Oh, yes. <laughs> so whenever she needs you, we just gonna call on you. Yes. <laughs> um, and where do you see yourself for maybe the next five years? Well, the next five years, after two years of college, I, I'll, I'll do one year of relaxing at home. Mm -hmm. And then as I work up, like getting a bit of a job, I'll continue to write my own little story. Ooh. And obviously, hopefully, I will publish this story and turn it to a movie. Oh, snap. So we got a little digital media going on behind that scientific veterinarian. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, I'm writing it right now, so. You are? Yes, I'm on chapter two and. You didn't already finish the chapter? Yes. If you don't mind me asking, what is it about? Or the concept of it, if you don't want to give away well, what it's writing about. Well, it's just a love and betrayal and let's say the expect the unexpected. Okay, so it's though it's a thriller, you know, be yes. on your toes. Yes, y'all going the edge of the seat. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I just want to say congratulations, and I am so proud of you. Thank you. And I'm happy you did it. And there's only so many more blessings to come. Of course. So you keep it up. Class of what? 2019. Aye. <laughs>